Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We will do a very exciting tutorial today. I will show you how to make a cute bear burger in Blender. This is an easy tutorial that anyone can do, so I hope you will join and do it with me. Without further ado, let's get into it. First, select the default cube, then press X to delete. Shift A to add a circle. In the circle properties, change the vertices to 8 and fill tab to end goal. Press tab to go to edit mode, E to extrude, tab again to go back to object mode, Control 2 to add subdivision. In edit mode, 3 for faces selection. Select the top and bottom faces, I to intrude, Control R to add a loop cut on the side, then move it up so that we have the object grounded at the bottom, but cut a flat on the top. Shift A to add another circle. This time, change the field type to triangle pen and vertices to 16. Use the Z arrow to move it on top. Press 2 for edges selection. Select alternative edges and bring them up or down. In object mode, control 2 to add subdivision. In the modifier properties, add solidifier modifier. Turn on even thickness and increase the thickness value. Right click to shade smooth. Select the bottom bun, Shift D to duplicate and bring it up. Select the side edge, press X to dissolve. To create the melted cheese, Shift A again to add a blend. S to scale down. In the edit mode, right click and select subdivide. Increase the number of cuts to 10. On the right hand side, Go to Physics Properties, select Cloth, then scroll down. Under Collisions, turn on Self Collisions. Then select the Beef Patty and turn on Collision. Now at the bottom timeline, click Play and watch the object fall down. You can change the shape or size to your preference. Then click Play again. Once you are happy with the result, go to Modify Properties and apply the Cloth Modifier. Add some thickness with the solidifier modifier and control 2 to add subdivision. Then right click to shade smooth. To make the sliced tomato, Shift A to add a circle and change the vertices back to 8. Press S to scale down and move it on top. In the edit mode, press E to extrude, then I to intrude. Now select two faces at a time. Intrude, then extrude up. Also extrude the remaining faces. Press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision and Ctrl R to add loop cuts to define the shape. Mm -hmm. 
alternately to duplicate and create two more slices of tomato. Add another layer of lettuce on top. Finally, we need the top bun. Shift D to duplicate and bring up the bottom object. Select the center face and use the arrow to move up. Ctrl B to bevel it out, then adjust the edges so that it creates a nice curve at the top. To make the ear, shift S and bring the cursor to select it. Then shift A to add a circle. Change the fill tab back to angle. S to scale down. Since I forgot to change the fill tab, I selected the center vertex and press X to dissolve. Press A to select everything. E to extrude, I to intrude and E again to extrude inward. Ctrl 2 to add subdivision and move it to one side. With the inner face is still selected, I to intrude again to clearly define the shape. Right click to shade smooth. Add a mirror modifier. Select the bun as the mirror object, then change the axis to Y. Move on to the eye, shift A to add another circle, S Y 90 to rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis, S to scale down then move it up. Press E to extrude, I to intrude, then use the X arrow to bring it out. Ctrl 2 to add subdivision. Right click to shade smooth and set origin to geometry. We will turn on the snapping tool at the top. Select snap to face and turn on align rotation to target and project individual elements. Next, add a mirror modifier with the same setting as last time. Shift D to duplicate, S to scale to create a cheek blush. To make the mouth, shift A to add a bath curve, rotate 90 degrees on the Z axis, move it to the front and press S to scale down. Go to the front view, select these three vertices and use the Z arrow to move them up. A to select everything, right click and select subdivide. Now use the vertices to change the shape to something you like. In the curve properties under geometry, change resolution to 2 and increase the depth. I have it at around 0.22. Once done, right click and convert the object back to mesh. In edit mode, select the two end loops. F to fill.
from the side view rotate so that the object aligns with the shape of the bun, then use the X arrow to bring it in. Now you can add another circle, but it is better to use things that we already have. Select the eye, shift D to duplicate and bring it to the center. Remove the mirror modifier. Press alternate R to reset its rotation. RY90 to rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis. Select this edge. Turn on proportional editing at the top. Use the Z arrow to move it up. While doing so, rotate the mouse wheel to adjust the radius of influence until you have something like a triangle. Add the scale and move it right on top of the mouth. Also remember to check the side view to make sure it is in the right position. Now we are done modeling the bear burger. Let's add material to our model. On the top right hand corner, select viewport shading. This is where we can see how the final render will look like. Go to Render Properties, change the render engine to Cycles and device to GPU Compute. Under Color Management, set the look to High Contrast. Select the object that we want to add material, then go to Material Properties, add a new material. Add the base color, use the color wheel to select the color for the object. This is the basic step to add a material. We will go a little bit extra in this video and I will show you how to add some more texture on top of the base color to give our model more depth and achieve a more realistic look. But first let's add color to all the objects. For objects that need to be glossy, you can decrease the roughness value. The cheese, for example, I turn it down to around 0.15. Also make some final adjustments if you want to.
once done, let's go to the shading tab at the top. Start with the bun, shift A and add a gradient texture. Before continue, we need to enable node wrangler add-on first. This will help speed up many actions within the shader editor. Go to edit, open preferences. In the add-on section, search for node wrangler and turn it on, with the gradient texture not being selected. If we press Ctrl T, the mapping and texture coordinates node will appear automatically, which is very convenient. From the texture coordinate, we will link object to a vector in the mapping node, then we will link the color from the gradient texture node to the base color. You may be surprised to see only black and white at the moment, but don't worry. This is only to show how the gradient texture works on our model. Under rotation, set the Y value to 90 degrees and adjust the X value under location until you have the top one look similar to this. Then shift A and add a color ramp node. Change the black color to somewhat muted yellow and white color to a little bit darker shade of orange. Add some more color values in between for a smoother transition. Now select the beef patty, we will add a noise texture node this time. Also press Ctrl T to turn on mapping and texture coordinate nodes. Connect all the nodes together and add a color ramp node in between. Select the colors.
add a bump node Plug the factor value from the noise node to height, then connect the bump node to normals. Decrease the strength value. Now we finish with the material, let's add a background and light up the model for rendering. I'll be using the usual 3 pole lighting setup with warm colors. Adjust the camera angle I notice the bottom bun doesn't look the way it's supposed to be as the lighter part should be at the top so I duplicate the color and change the Y value under rotation to minus 90. This should be fine. Once you're happy with everything, the last step is to hit the render button. So go to render and select render image, or hit F12 on your keyboard. You can make a normal bear burger, or an ad version burger, a clumsy animation video, or even a turnaround video with a saturated metal cheese like I did here. 
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video. I'm looking forward to seeing all of your beautiful creations, so don't forget to tag me if you post it on social media. I will see you in the next video. Bye!